Hello and welcome to the PFSense 2.3 feature video for firewall rule management. The first thing you might notice when looking at firewall rules on PFSense 2.3 is the hit counter in the first column labeled states. This column shows the number of active states along with the amount of traffic transferred by packets matching the rule. Hovering over the counter shows some additional data such as rule evaluations and packet counts. This is a great way to see at a glance if traffic is hitting the rule you expect and which rules are being utilized. The data resets when the filter reloads, so it's not useful for long-term tracking. Changing the order of rules can now be performed in two different ways. First is the traditional method of clicking a rule to select it, and then clicking the icon next to where you want it to go. The rules will move below that rule, and they will be stored in the new order. Second is a newly added drag and drop style of reordering rules. Simply click and hold the rule and drag it to its new position. When dragging and dropping to store the new order of rules, click the Save button. A warning is displayed if you try to leave the page before saving the rule order. Rule separators are a new feature that provide visual separation between rules in the list using text and color. Click the Separator button to create a new rule separator. Enter some text, and then click Save, and then drag the, rule, the separator to the new position. You can also change the color of the separator by choosing one of the circles later in the row. And be sure to click Save to store the order when you're done. For creating new firewall rules, there are now two buttons at the bottom of the list. The button with the upward pointing arrow adds the rule to the top of the list, similar to the plus button that used to be up at the top before. The rule with the downward pointing arrow adds a rule to the bottom of the list, so it will go at the end. The icons at the end of each row are different than they used to be, but more intuitively reflect their purpose. Each row has an action icon to represent repositioning, edit, duplicate, disable, and delete for the rule. Separator bars only have a delete icon. Disabled rules are shown in a slightly lighter shade, and instead of a disable icon, they have an enable icon. And you can simply click that to toggle the rule back to the other state. And that's all for firewall rules. Thank you.